Gemini is going to have a difficult time this summer, I feel like. Um, mm. it, it, I think it's going to be a, a, a duality here. I feel like Geminis are going to really find a vulnerability this summer, mm -hmm. but they're going to meet people who he's going to ghost them or run away from them. So I feel like it's going to make them emotional in a sense to where they're feeling like, you know, I've kind of done that before. I've kind of like just turned my back on somebody. Now I'm getting the back turned on me. Primarily Gemini men. When I look at Geminis, I see the the the, the men and the women completely different in different yeah. lives of Geminis. So I'm more talking about the male energy. So females, making make sure you're actually with a confident Gemini. If you're going to meet a Gemini, make sure they're confident and feel like they progressed. Because uh, then I feel like they'll be on the journey of, you know, that kind of like looking for stability. Um, and so the Gemini women, I think that you're going to own your stability this time with the summer of love and the summertime. You're going to be feeling more, I want to be stable. I, I'm looking for stable relationships, not just in romantic relationships, but within your friendships too. You're going to be craving that stability. And so um, the men are going to have a difficult time, you know, understanding that new paradigm. But those who are kind of advanced in their spiritual growth will understand it. Um, those who are in relationships, you know, they're, they're there will be communication issues. There might be uh, talks about stepping outside the marriage or doing something unconventional within mm -hmm. your relationships. So um, that that might not be, that's not a bad thing. Um, I think that the openness to the discussion is what's key, not the actual result of it. So sometimes just discussing that will give you more freedom than actually going through with it. So I think that would be a key within the relationships. Uh, and as well as those who are not looking for relationships, you know, I, I think that there's going to be more of a soul searching for the Geminis collectively um, in summer as well. So I'm finding a love for um, not just the self, but the love for, I would say, spirit and the love for, you know, what we call creator, the love of the essence of things. Things is where I feel like mm. the summer will be for Gemini's as a whole if they're not looking for relationships. But that might be true even those who are in or looking for relationships too. Yes, that's, that's really on point. Uh, I agree with you on the separation of men and Gemini uh, women. Uh, Gemini's are just coming out of a faith transit. Jupiter's coming out of their 12. So I think they have found a faith. They've, they've had to learn some hard lessons of faith. They tend to be a little nervous. You know, I think basically Jupiter's moving in their sign. So they're going to be filled with energy. And I agree. I think that's going to be uncomfortable and make them feel nervous. But at the same time, I think Gemini's who are caught in relationships that are unfulfilling are going to feel some of that bravery. Right. And they are going to open up and say, hey, why don't we try something a little different? Why don't right. we mix this up a little bit? I agree with that. Yeah. I agree also that the Gemini men are going to be a little bit more shy out of the gate. I think Gemini women are sort of goddesses that haven't been embraced yet. Me I know too. so many Gemini women that are just like, yeah, amazing. amazing. My mom's goddesses. a Gemini. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they, and they really haven't been eaten up, you know, like they right. have, they're waiting to be heard. Yeah. They're amazing. Uh, Gemini yeah. women are amazing to me. I love their, so strong and so witty, but so nurturing. And I love Gemini women. I think they're, Hi, gonna, mom. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's scoring brownie points for Christmas presents, but like, no, I think Gemini women. So I feel like Gemini women actually m m might beat the men as far as the summer of love. I think yes. they might find real love. I agree. I think, I think the Gemini men will be a little gun shy. Yep. But, you I know, agree. Geminis, but I think the Gemini men are going to grow in their careers. Yeah. So I have a sense that they're going to build a lot of camaraderie this summer. They're going to really fall in love with their job. They're going to really fall right. in love with their colleagues. Right. They're going to become buddies with the people they work with. That's Saturn right. in, in the 10th house. I think, right. I feel like that's, uh, something that's going to happen for them as well. Um, and the other thing too is Gemini's just went through an intimacy transit with Pluto in, in Capricorn. So the universe is pushing for them to get a lot closer. I don't know if it's going to happen this summer, but they, you know, they've been a little mental. They need to be, right. I'm talking about in bed. Like I think they've been very intellectual in bed, very very idealized in bed. And there's other there's other ways to feel good in bed than just the idea of who you're with. Right. And and they get more fantasized about the fantasy behind it when they get with it. It's like shutdown time, you know. So yeah, it's so it's, exactly it's, it. Yeah. Yeah. Their mind gets them all worked up. And I wonder if in bed they're in their mind or on the internet and not with the person they're in front of. So I think they're I think they're gonna get pushed into being closer than they expected to be by the end of the year. Right. And the summer is gonna be like the foreplay or the beginning of whatever that is. Um and yeah, I the agree thing, with the yeah, and the, the one thing I want to say with Gemini men too, expect the better. Cause I think a lot of times Geminis are more surprised of who they attract. You know, they might be yeah. saying, I've attracted this, like I'm usually dating lower, so I'm attracting this great energy. So I then they get in their head because of that too. I think they tend to attract, I would say, 
levels that are higher than them sometimes, you know, because they do have that charismatic energy too and that appeal, especially those air signs, you know, Aquarius is as well. They, you know, Gemini's are really bring Aquarius in, into their, their sphere, at least I, from my experience. So I just think that a lot of times they should allow themselves to understand it's okay that someone is, you know, more attractive than you thought or has more to offer the table. That's Don't true. let that shine, overshine you because sometimes they would back away from that. Um, and so if they, if they, this summer, they can start allowing that. They can start having, like you said before, or just all these interconnected relationships working in balance where they're not say fragmented in their relationships it feels more unified than fragmented you know and relationship here and just breaking up the timing differently they'll have more i would say uh, intimate connections and more meaningful connections versus these little fragmented relationships so i see an evolution with the men on that too That's that might be point. more 2025 though you know yeah, I think whatever, whatever barrier needs to be broken and that fragmenting is exactly what keeps them from getting close. Right. Is they've kept yeah. everything in little intellectual baskets and, you right. know, um, and then right. a little stubborn about not changing their mind. They get a little right. stubborn that way. It's serious joy.